Oh, guys, I'm so excited. It's arrived, it's arrived, the book. The uh, Grade 1 Examination Coursework Book. I can't wait! I love it, I just love it when I get a new book. Now, I'm going to do a toy, and I'm going to, um, well, let's talk about the fingering. Get your pencil ready. I want you to write in as much of the fingering as possible. You will find it really, really helpful. And um, also the note names if you need them. I'm all for annotating your work. Scrawl is good. You'll only look at it for the first sort of 10 times and then you won't look at it anymore. You won't even know it's there and you can rub it out if you want. So do it in pencil. Ringy major. When I sit down to practice this or teach it, I'm going to insist that we do our G major chords. Okay, hands separately is fine. And that's our scale. And then chords and arpeggios. And the other hand. And all the notes together. Okay, G major. Lovely, love it, love it, love it. Right, I'm going to call out the fingering. So here we go. We're on the top upper D. Five, four, three, two, one, five. Move up to two. Three, five, four, five, two. We'll be doing the left presently. Come right down to the D. Two, three, five, F sharp, four, five, two. Move back up. Five, four, three, two, one. Four and two, it's written in. Three and five, one, four, three on the C sharp, one and four, one and four. Stretch up to this A, write it in, A, with your pinky, four, three, two, one. On the same note, we play with our fifth, five, four, three, two, one. Then we move up uh, a note, four and two, nice and quiet, five and three. And then we move back down for two and five, four on the C, one and three on the G and the B. Pass over F sharp and A. And then one and four, one and four, five, three on that F sharp, and one and four again. Okay, and we finish nice and loudly, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, put your sharps in, um, put everything you need in, very important, especially on a podcast, because I'm not there to scrawl all over your music. Right, let's go from the left hand. Now, interestingly, this is all in the treble clef, so normally it would be your left hand that's playing, your right hand that's playing all this. But we're, we're playing this B, so it's, it's a, top, uh, a top note, upper, upper, a right upper in there, but um, you can, uh, well, you'll have to memorise it. But it's, the, it's not the, the one, the middle C one, it's the, um, the next C along. So three, two, three, four, five. Five under with one, okay? Two, three, four, five, okay? And thumb on the D, and three, two, three, four, five. So where the hand lies, nothing too difficult there. And another G. Now this is quite hard to read, isn't it? Because, oh, what are all those lines? Well, that line... Uh, two lines up, that's the middle C ledger line. Do you see? That's how we know where it is. And then we play that G again, okay? The key note. Um, then we move up again to the G, and we're going to play a natural F. One, two, three, four, five. Two and four. Uh, 
sorry, F sharp now, beg your pardon, it goes back to the key signature. So let's just uh, two and four on there and then pass your thumb under one and five. And two and four again. Now if you if you look at these two, you can, it, it's easier to, uh, so you don't get lost. Okay, so it's two and four, one and five, two and four, two and four. Okay, now we're going back up to the A. One, two, three, four, five, quietly. I hope you can hear that. <laughs> and then we're moving down one note, just the one, and a natural F again, but quieter. We'll worry about the volume uh, next time. And then four and two, that's an F sharp. So we've got, a, we've got they're throwing a lot of naturals in, but you'll get to know the tune um, and it will make perfect sense. And then we move our whole hand down, lean into it, don't stretch or anything. Um, well, it's quite near the middle, isn't it? You probably aren't stretching at all. G with a fifth, and that's a D. So look at, look at that, it changes back to bass clef. So now we can read all this probably. D with a thumb, and then two, three, and then pass your thumb under, one and five, and then one and two, okay? You could do that two and four if you wanted, but we'll talk about that. Um, I, as I said, go with their fingering, I think, and then nobody um, can argue with us, can they? Okay, that's your fingering mapped out. Um, now I want you to listen to the piece. You'll probably find it on YouTube. I'll pop it on the, um, I'll do a blog. I'll go and do a blog and uh, from the website and um, I'll pop a link up because I think you need to listen to it. And unfortunately, I'm not allowed to play it uh, for copyright reasons, but I can teach it. I just can't play it. Um, I can play it when it's complete, but I don't want to do that just yet, okay? So I don't want you to rush. I want you to really take things easy and work on those scales. And I'll do a recording a bit later of um, myself and, uh, well, it's keyboards, isn't it? Should we get Cuddles to do it today? I'll get Cuddles to do a version of it um, because Cuddles is really good on his synthesizer. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. So I loved it. I really like this piece. So tomorrow, um, we'll be doing uh, the right hand only and then the left hand and then we'll think about putting them together but we're not in a hurry to do these we're going to be nice and steady as you go okay so I might feature a different one every few days I think that's probably the best way to go or let's have a look do we have a look minuet in C Parsons farewell now I think that I've done um, Parsons Farewell already um, somewhere. Oh, it's not an F sharp, is it? Ah, that's a different key. I think I've done it. Um, but we'll have to go and look. Okay, and the swing down by the Sally Gardens. Cockatoo. Well, that sounds fun, doesn't it? Cockatoo. Well, I think we might have to do that one. That's in the C section. And then there's a word that I'm going to have to look up because I don't know how to pronounce it. Tsuska. Tsuska. I'd better go and do some homework. And the final one is the detective. Oh, that sounds really good as well, doesn't it? The detective. <gasps> okay, so I'd better go and do a little bit of preparing um, so that I know how to pronounce words and I know what key every piece is in. Uh, it's very helpful when you know where you're, go you're going to have sharps and flats. So that was a quick lesson. I um, hope you've got all that fingering in. Go back, listen to it again, write it in, okay? Um, keep doing it. Again, I can't, I'm not allowed to reproduce the music either for copyright reasons. So you're going to have to buy the book, I'm afraid. Um, oh, I love it. I love it. It's so exciting, guys. Welcome. Welcome to my world. <laughs>